Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to achieve this really pretty rose gold inspired look. So the first thing I'm doing is just starting off by using a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, followed by the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And then on top of that, I'm actually using a facial oil just to give a little bit of glow and a little bit of hydration back into the skin. On top of that, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm actually using two shades, one that's her skin tone and then one that's a little bit lighter just to give a little bit of brightness back into the center part of her skin. So I'm taking both of those two shades and I'm just blending them all over the skin. Following the foundation directly on top, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cover Concealer in a shade that's two shades lighter than her skin tone. Underneath the eyes and a little bit of the center of the face just to brighten and give a little bit more coverage. I'm now just blending the foundation and the concealer together so there's no harsh lines and everything is melted together on her skin. Following the foundation, I'm going on and bronzing with a little bit of the Armani Fluid Sheer Liquid Bronzer in the shade number three, just bronzing the outer perimeter of the face. Following that, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Wand in Peach Gasm as a blush blending that out. And then for a highlight, I'm using by Charlotte Tilbury again, the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight to highlight and give a very pretty champagne candlelit glow. Now that we have the liquids and creams laid down, I'm going on and finishing off the skin with a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now going into brows, I'm using my tried and true, the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown, just lightly defining the brows by doing short little brow flicks and then brushing all those bad boy hairs up. I'm now taking MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pot and priming the eyelids. Following that, I'm taking Play Eyeshadow by the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette and blowing that through the crease. Following that, once I have that laid down, I'm taking a little bit of Tickle Eyeshadow in that same palette and blowing that through the crease. And this is one of my favorite colors ever. It is the prettiest rosy pinky neutral. Following the two shadows that I use, I'm taking a little bit of raw, blending that on the outer corners of the eye and blending that straight into the crease. And then for the lid, I'm taking from Makeup Revolution, this cream shadow called Rebound, super pretty, sparkly, rose gold. Highly recommend. I'm just taking that cream shadow and I'm popping it all over the lid with my finger. On top of that, I am using a Pat McGrath shadow, which I don't remember the name of it. I depotted it, but it's something similar to mythology for any MAC people that are out there. I am now using a Shiseido Eye Coal. I believe this color is called Tea Leaves. I'm taking that and lining the outer corners of the eye and blending that out so everything's really nice and soft and diffuse. Now I'm taking a little bit of Crave from the Huda Beauty palette and popping that on the inner corner. Now I'm working underneath the eyes and basically every shadow that I used through the crease I'm using underneath the eyes. So first shade I'm taking is a little bit of play, followed by tickle, and then followed by raw to kind of smoke out those outer corners. Now that we have all the shadows laid down, I'm going in and I'm just applying a little bit of a Demi Wispy Lash from Ardell. Now that we have the eyes laid down, I'm going in and bronzing the skin with some of the Fenty Sunstalker bronzer. I'm using two shades. The first one I'm using is India Sun and Private Island. Using both of those to kind of deepen the skin and give a little bit of contour. 
following that for blush, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Electra, which is a really pretty soft coral on the apples of the cheeks. And following that, I'm highlighting with a little bit of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Diamond Wet Supreme Frost Highlighter, highlighting the cheekbones and highlighting through the center of the face. For lips, I'm just taking a little bit of lip primer followed by Sore Lip Pencil by MAC Cosmetics. For lipstick, I'm using the Dior Liquid Lipstick in the number 424. And for gloss, I'm just using the MAC Clear Lip Gloss just all over. I wanted the eyes to have a little bit more sparkle, so I'm taking this Pat McGrath palette and I'm taking this rose gold color and just pressing that all over the lid. And finishing off, I'm just taking some MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus all over. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment or send me a direct message. Until next time, thank you guys.